Hashem. The message I want to share with you today, for all of us, Klal Yisrael is going through a very, very difficult time. In particular, the tragedy that we suffered on Lach Boimer this past Friday, Thursday night, Friday. I want to share with you a very apropos story. It will hopefully put things in perspective and give us the chizuk that we need. But honestly, I'm going to say this story, and you're not going to believe me. So I'm telling you, you can look it up. It's in an art scroll book, Tales of the Soul, Volume 4, on page 128. And if that's not enough, I heard an official Shechter Shlita say over this story many years ago, and he said he himself was Mevayer to make sure that it was true. In 1963, the yeshiva of Preshburg was yeshiva in Yerushalayim Irakodesh. And the yeshiva, during the month of Elul, as Elul was getting close, closer to the end, and they were getting ready for Rosh Hashanah, the yeshiva decided to take the whole yeshiva to Maron to be by the kever of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechoi on the day of Rabbi Lazar's yard site, his son, who's buried in the Ma'ara. And the whole entire yeshiva went there and they sent, spent the whole night saying to Hillim at the yeshiva, at the uh, kever. And when they finished, they all went to the mikvah, they daven shacharis, and then they started heading back. On the way back, there was a terrible accident. And the truck, the truck that was carrying them, the bus, whatever you call it, that turned over, turned over. And it was terrible. People got bruised and killed and maimed. And it was awful. And three Haley and Nishamas were nifter. Two Yeshiva Bachram and the driver were nifter. And it was an absolute sorrow. It was a terrible thing. The Levaya, as we can only imagine, or Chaim Shulevitz is a whole story with him going to the Levaya. The bottom line is, one of the Bokram that were Nifter, his name, his name was, it was, a Mor, it was Mordechai Falk. He was one of the Karbonites, one of the Bokram that was Nifter. And he had a Chavrus, his name was Zev. And Zev was totally broken. How could it be? His Kavrusa was such an unbelievable masmid. He was such an unbelievable bentayra. Why would HaKadosh Baruch Hu take him away in such a crazy way? And he was the svalot HaKadosh Baruch Hu that Hashem should send him some light to enlighten him why this would happen. And after a few weeks, he had a dream. His friend, Mordechai Falk, the nifter, came to him in a dream. And he came to him in a dream and he said, that you're questioning what happened, I'm here to tell you that what exactly what happened. There's no reason to cry over me. Up here, everything is happy, everything is simchadik. And what happened was, I want to tell you, that I went up to Shamayim without having to go through any din. I went straight to the, to the, to Ganeiden. I went straight to the Masifta of Rav Shimon Bar Yechoi where I sit all day and learn in the Masifta of Shimon Bar Yechai because I was Nifter right after being at the cave of Shimon Bar Yechai. And that's my Chelek in Gan Eden. And the reason why I'm not judged at all is because since I'm a Kapara for the Dar, Klal Yisrael last Rosh Hashanah was Nixar, a terrible Gzera, that many, many thousands of Yidin were supposed to be punished and killed, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu settled on three Karbanais. And because I was an Euler Tamima, there's no, there's no din. We, we went, all three of us went straight to Ganeid. And I sit in Rajdi's Masifta. That's what he said. And then he said one more thing. He said, you remember every single Arab Shabbos, I did Mava Sedra with Rashi, Shnai Mikra Vechatari with Rashi, yeah? said, you know what my schus is? My schus is that I am very, very close to Rashi up here in Gadeth, and I learn with him all the time. And with that, he left. Zev, this Barker, wakes up, and he has the dream. He writes everything down, and he starts questioning himself. You know, like a person, you know, he's not sure. Is it a real dream? Was it his imagination? And... He didn't want to say it over to anybody because he thought maybe people were going to think he's crazy. And he started to doubt it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, 
that a Kosh Baruch Hu should send him a sign that the dream is true. And he was misfollowed and misfollowed for days, and finally, after many days, his friend Mordechai Falk returned to him. And he said, you're questioning whether the dream is true. Of course it's true, and I'm going to give you two signs. The first sign is that you're going to meet your Basharit in seven weeks from today. Her name is Devoira Bas Shimon. You're going to get engaged shortly after. And after your engagement, your future father-in-law has a long-lost brother who was lost during the Holocaust and he was assumed to have died. He's going to be found alive. And then you'll know it's true. Have a wonderful day. He leaves. He writes down all the information. And seven weeks later, he meets a girl, Devarim Bashiman. He gets engaged a few weeks later. And by his l'chaim, he goes over to his father-in-law and says, You know, Tati, uh, you have any brothers? He says, Yeah, I have this brother, and that brother. I have one brother, Nebuch. He was from the Kedoshim. He lost, he was, he was killed in the Holocaust. He says, no, no, I don't think he was killed in the Holocaust. I think he's going to you know, return. The father looks at him. He says, I have a strange uh, son-in-law here. Okay. A week and a half later, he's sitting in yeshiva learning, and he gets a telegram from his father-in-law. How in the world did you know? How did you know? My long-lost brother, he ended up in Russia. We thought he was lost and killed. He ended up in Russia. We just made communication with him. And then Zev knew that the dream was true. And he knew that Kedoshim Vitoyim, that Doi Al Kiddush Hashem, especially if they die at the cave of Rav Shimon Vayichai, go straight up without a din, and they go into the Mesifta of Rav Shimon Vayichai. And what we could take out of the story is that if we learn Torah Gishmak, down here we'll be Zoycha to be next to Rashi. The next of Rav Shimon Bar Yochai will be Zoyich. The next of Rav Shimon Yehuda and Rav Meir and all the other Tanoim and Amaroim. We have an opportunity to learn the Shinantam Levanecha to learn with our fathers, to learn with our grandfathers, to learn with our Chavrusa. So whoever came, let's take advantage. Let's realize the unbelievable schar of Liban Atayro, and let's learn with Hasma the Rabba. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Anybody that did bring Mishnais, I have some extra Mishnais over here. Have a wonderful day, and we should begin learning as soon as possible. And the